Do you know what direct variation means? It means that there is a proportional relationship between quantities and that if this occurs that there is a constant of proportionality. Let me write all that down. Here it is stated again. Take a minute to write this statement down in your notebooks and then we're going to move on. If there is this proportional relationship then there is a constant of proportionality. We can say that y varies directly as x times the constant of proportionality. Boy, that sounds a bit confusing, so let's look at an example. y is equal to 6. x is equal to 3. If y varies directly as x, what is the constant? Using these given values, we can substitute them back into this equation and solve for k, the constant. Here we have a simple equation. Remember y was equal to 6, we substituted that in, and x was equal to 3. Now we can solve for k. We divide both sides by 3, and we can say that 2 is the constant of proportionality. Let's look at solving for k again. If y varies directly as x, what is the constant of proportionality when y is 12 and x is equal to 5? Let's solve it using our formula. We substituted 12 and 5 into the formula. We divide both sides by 5. And the constant is 2.4. How can we show this on a graph? Let's look at the first example once again. Here we have y equals x times k, y was 6, x was 3, and we ended up with a constant of 2. Now something that you should always know about a direct variation equation is that it will always go through 0, 0. And we can use the constant as the slope. Now let's graph it. We put, we put our first point at 0, 0 because we know that because y varies directly as x, it is always going to go through 0, 0. It is a direct variation. Now our slope is positive 2 over 1. Here is the graph of our line. So a couple of things for you to remember. First that there is a constant of proportionality. You can use this equation to solve for the constant. When graphing a direct variation, it'll always go through 0, 0, and k can be the same as the slope. Take a minute to write all this down in your notebook then you can use these things to solve direct variation problems.